Hello my fellow creator, my name is Stancy and you are in the Stancy Nova channel, the best place for creative people who want to live better. In today's video, I'm challenging my creativity again. This is like episode three of this mini series where I'm trying to come up with five different concepts for product photos. And today's product is the solid shampoo bar by a brand Kayola. This product is as local as it can get because it's produced right here in Casa Cocolores in Fuerteventura by Axel. You may remember Axel because she modeled for one of my previous content projects and she's making this beautiful solid shampoo bars, like designing the packaging herself, selling herself, everything done by one person. It's a very small brand and I would like to support her and give some love to this product because I love it. Wait, I forgot to mention that today I'm going to be taking all of the photos with my iPhone. Yes, I'm the biggest advocate of using whatever you already have to create. You don't need expensive equipment, creativity is all you need. Today I'm going to prove that to you. I don't want any of my fellow creators to feel like, oh, I can't really start my creative career because I don't have a camera yet and I don't have that and this and like I'm so limited and I don't have the resources ditch that mindset and try to focus on whatever you already have you have everything that you need to get from point a to your dream so now we can begin i want to take a product photo of this shampoo next to the pool to bring it more into the context of the island and i've seen so many ways online how you can fake the appearance of a pool good thing i have a pool now so i don't need to fake anything and look at this beautiful shadow right here hello katletka Hello, Katletka. This is not really for you, but like I'm thinking to put it somewhere here, style it with a bunch of other elements, and I think it can look really, really cute. Hmm. I changed my mind. I want to style it here on this side of the pool because the water here is nice and blue and it's really dark over there. I want to style this product with a few different elements and I'm looking right now for some like branch from a palm tree or something else that looks really good and makes a beautiful shape. This might work. Hey, this might work. To bring in the summer vibe, I decided to make my favorite matcha tonic drink and I decorated it with a little bit of mint and lemon. Oh yeah, I think it ties in nicely the yellow and green colors on the packaging. So, okay, I'm gonna try to arrange it somehow nicely. Of course, when I was just about to take a picture, the cloud came by. Now I can't take a photo because there will be no shadow. I think even without matcha, it's looking really good. And I like how the shape of the pool right here resembles the shape of the sleeve. So I'm just trying to come up with some cute composition. Katletka, are you helping me? You are such a good helper, thank you. She's my biggest emotional support. And yes, I think I made matcha like just for myself because it's not good for this picture anyway. Yeah. Now it's all about the coordination. I'm gonna set up the camera somehow like this, this leaf is gonna be like this right here and then i'm gonna make the ripples and i just need to shoot I think I'm done with my first idea and this is how it turned out. I'm very happy with it. It gives off this summer vibe. It puts the product in the context of the island where it's produced. And now we can move on to the next idea, but I don't have it yet. So I need to brainstorm first. I'm looking at this rock and I'm thinking, what if I made some kind of like an arrangement from the natural elements and styled the product on it to highlight the fact that it's a natural product and maybe with some simple background, you know, just on a white wall. I think I'm gonna go around and find some rocks. 
actually i've been collecting a few natural elements for a different photo shoot for Miso natura products but i didn't end up using it now i'm gonna go and try to find it and i can use those rocks and branches that i found before this is what i have this is what i've collected even this cactus is still green and these are my favorite and yeah i do like this one I also have this driftwood that I could use and I'm thinking just to shoot with this white background like on a sunny side so I have very harsh shadows. For this one I'm not gonna keep the product outside of the packaging because it kind of looks similar in terms of the color and little texture so I'm gonna keep it inside the package to make the product really stand out. This can be nice and simple. It creates a beautiful shape. This color is very, is very similar, so it ties it in. I can have like a bunch of free space on the right top corner. And overall, yeah, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna go find scotch tape and just kind of like attach it right here. Well, that works. I think it's kind of beautiful, simple and beautiful. And I will Photoshop out these uh, pieces of tape. Oh, well, this concept has been quite spontaneous and easy to make. I still haven't satisfied my desire to create a natural composition, like using all the other rocks and driftwood that I have. So I'm gonna do that now. Well, that was interesting. I've never done anything like that before, but I'm in love with this concept because it brings in the naturalness of this product. The shampoo just blends in nicely with the rocks and the cactus. The cactus brings in the right color. Well, I'm very glad I've done that concept because the whole point of doing this creativity challenge for me is to try something new, try something that I haven't done before and kind of enrich my portfolio and my skill set. And another challenge is to create photos that are different yet still suitable for this branding. I cannot be just creating whatever. I need to be creating photos that highlight the unique selling points of this shampoo and that it's natural and eco-friendly and it's produced on the island, all the things. After I took a few photos of the product in packaging, I decided to make some photos with the shampoo in action. Axel modeled a bit with her hands and I created this photo. We also tried making a photo with wet hair and a shampoo bar, but it didn't turn out great. And that's fine. Not every idea should work, so I just moved on to the next one. Well, what if I did one of those shots with a mirror so that it kind of like reflects there and I can put my product somewhere here and put a little bit of foam on top. I really like this other part of the mirror that's rose gold, but I'm not sure I have like enough space around it, you see? Mm. Well, I think I've got it. Not without a challenge, but I think I've got it. I'm happy with the result. I'm ready to move on. While I'm still working with a mirror, I thought, what if I style this shampoo on one of the shelves? I just need to make it different. I need to change the light, change something about it and find like a nice place so that the reflection in a mirror is nice and simple. Maybe just white wool or something like that. So taking this photo is a little bit more challenging than I anticipated. I literally put up the tripod in my sink and I'm trying to take a photo from this angle now. The main, th well, I'm going to remove these bits in Photoshop. It's not gonna be a problem. The main challenge is to create beautiful shadow play using the uh, sunset lamp so that there are no like extra lines on the packaging like this, you know, I don't want it to affect the branding. I want it to look cool and still be interesting and still have some shapes. So I'm gonna play with the light for a while and just take a bunch of photos to choose from later.
Now I decided to show you before and after of every picture that I took. I'm using Photoshop to edit my photos. And if you're curious about my workflow, my favorite tools, and some tips and tricks that I've got up my sleeve, check out the video I made recently where I shared all of that. And it will be linked for you in the description. All right, I'm done with my concepts and I'm happy with the result. It was a fun creativity challenge for me to do and I hope it was a fun video for you to watch. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give a thumbs up, leave me some comments. This is a great way to support my channel. And if you enjoy this format, I've already made a couple of videos during the time when I was living in Prague with different products. I'm gonna have them linked for you in the description so you can check it out. If you wanna hang out on my channel again, if you wanna see me again, don't forget to subscribe and you can hit the notification bell so you'll get a little ding dong when I upload my next video. I make videos about product photography and content creation and my lifestyle and this beautiful island of Fuerteventura where I'm currently living. So yeah, I'm gonna see you in my next video. Peace!